starlings. Welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. For those of you who are returning and who are my subscribers, thank you for coming back for another message from Spirit. Um, just a quick note, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, I am available. My calendar is open. Check out capellawellness.com. I have plenty of services there because I do a lot of work with uh, my clients. And um, check out the Capella memberships that I have as well. You get exclusive content. It's kind of like Patreon, but I built it on my own platform where you get additional guidance, like what needs to be healed for the month, what needs to be unblocked for the month, and you will also have access to daily guidance. I will do videos for every day of the week. It's at least three to five videos a week to help supplement the readings that you watch here on YouTube, okay? There are different tiers. All of the different tiers have different perks, so I would highly recommend that you check that out to help you with your spiritual growth, because that's what this is about. All right, guys, with that being said, let's get into your reading. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope all is awesome in your sector of the universe. I send you much love and many, many blessings your way, as I always do. Uh, if you haven't watched any of my other readings yet, Aries, um, I'm doing things a little bit differently this week. I had the intention of trying to do shorter videos so that I could catch up on my work because the past couple of weeks there have been a lot of things going on in my life so but apparently that's not working because my guides are like nope you're not the reader who does short readings you we channel a lot through you so we expect you to continue to channel the insightful very deep messages that you channel so because the other signs didn't get the other portions of the reading, like the love portion and the wellness portion. Um, I'm not going to do it for the rest of the signs this week either, just to be fair. So we're still going to look into what's going on with you right now, what obstacles you are facing and what lessons you're learning from this, because it is part of your spiritual growth. This is the point of this reading to get you to be in alignment with your heart's desires because if you're not in vibrational alignment don't expect anything magical to happen or miracles to happen so um, i'm going to do that still and then we're going to get guidance from spirit and then i'm going to give a little bit of a bonus i'm going to pull these uh pop open note cards okay all right aries let's see what's going on with you right now spirit guides angels galactic family plating syrians please reveal tells for our highest good what is going on with Aries at this time? Thank you. Look at that. We've got the Queen of Wands. All right. This is your energy. Aries is Sagittarius. Okay, guys. So, as remember, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For somebody who's watching this, keep your unhealthy ego at the door. Make sure you're honest with yourself. Some of you, you are in your power, okay? You are shining your light. You are being this beacon of light, faith, and hope to others. People love you. You're an excellent leader, whether it's a spiritual leader or you're very excellent in what you are, whatever you are doing. Maybe it's your business or something like that or at work. Um, you are catching the attention of a lot of people is what I'm hearing. You are really being this individual who knows their worth. Like you are so confident and, and courageous. It's like nothing can stop you. You are so in your element here, Aries, that you know, it's like you can do no wrong in a sense because you have this power about you. You also have this power to manifest things that you want. All right. Your manifestation abilities are high because your vibration is that high. So you are in this energy where you have this ability to go after what you want and you get it. All right. But without force. Okay. This was without force. So be careful with trying to do everything your way and trying to control things, okay? That's the shadow side of her. So there may be another group here where you're trying to, uh, nope, it has to be one way, one way only. It's going to be me, 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 and it's only all about me, and it's just like I'm the one who's the queen here, and I have to, everyone has to do what I say. No, that is not how a queen rules. That's like a tyrannical queen, okay? 
So if some of you are in the other group here where you're trying to, to do things your way and your way only and you're not allowing anyone to help you and you're not allowing, you're not allowing anyone to give their opinion type of thing, you are, are saying, nope, it's got to be done this way because maybe some of you are perfectionists or something. That's for some of you, not for all of you. You might get triggered, but if this is your truth, guys, you got to have to like, and I can't tell you what to do, but you're here for a reason, right? You want things to manifest. If you're trying to control things and to try to get things to work in your favor, they won't manifest. That's not how manifestation works because you're lowering your vibrational energy. You're actually putting your energy more towards the dark forces than towards the light by doing that. Okay. So be very careful with that. Your light dims when you act like the shadow side of the Queen of Wands. People don't want to be around someone who's controlling. People don't want to be around those who are like, it's just my way, the highway. No, you have to do as I say, and that's it. Nobody wants to be around that. You cast off negative energy by doing that. People will get, you'll get standoffish. They'll get standoffish. Nobody wants to be around that energy, okay? So if, if you are exhibiting that energy, you kind of have to like kill that off because you have the death card at the bottom of the deck, okay? Um, something's got to change. If you want your outside world to change, Aries, you're going to have to do the internal changes. You're going to have to go through that awakening and, and kind of kill off those bad habits about yourself, those poor qualities about yourself, which you know deep down inside are not working for you and they haven't been working for you for a while. And you're saying, well, I need this to be this way and I have to do it that I can make it happen. But you're like dictating everything and you're trying to play God. Okay, some of you are trying to play God. That's what I was told. Okay, but if you're trying to do that, guess what? God's not going to really back you up here. It's going to be like, okay, you want to play God, then, then have everything go not in your favor. Not You're not going to have everything go in your favor. Okay, and this is what, it's a major arcana. This is like death coming in. You got to put an end to this. To whoever is needs to hear this right now, it's got to stop. It's over. It's done. It's like the divine's coming in to get you to understand this type of behavior there, this universe is not going to tolerate because you do not get what you want when you force it. You end up getting things that you don't want when you do that. Okay? So be very careful with those energies. It's time to transition into a new version of you. This is the death of the old you and the rebirth of the new you. The more high vibrational you, the divine queen of wands a distorted feminine is this who has excessive control and gets all fired up and gets angry when they don't get their way nope for some of you that's what you are being asked to flip around okay and if you're noticing that you can't manifest something And you're actually manifesting negative things in your life. It's because of your vibration. So if you want that to change, you're going to have to change some things about yourself to become more in alignment with your higher self. It's time to face your fears of needing to control things, Aries. Let God handle it. You do your part, God does the rest. Okay? It cannot be your way or the highway. Because at the ultimate, at the, at the end of the day, God has full control over you, over everyone else. You're able to control how you respond, what you eat, where you work, who you associate yourself with. You can have control over that, but not everything else. Because God knows better than we all do as to what is for our highest good. So that's why we've got death at the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. If somebody here, if a Scorpio is trying to control you or you're trying to control a Scorpio, that's maybe for somebody specific, it's not going to work. If, that, if you're resonating with that Aries, this Scorpio person has to go through their journey alone, through their awakening process on their own. Everyone has their own unique journeys. 
and their own karmic debt to pay, okay? But for others of you, it's time to make the internal changes if you want the outside world change, if the outside of your world to change. It's time to face those fears about relinquishing control. You gotta let go and let God. If you have fears about things going wrong or like it, it's got it's got to be done this way because this is what society says or this is what makes it perfect or this is this is how life should be no if you're realizing that your life is turning upside down here then then obviously you're going about it the non-divine way you're going about it the distorted way somebody who's distorted does not really ex uh, experience miracles and blessings in their life because that's where God comes in. You do not create the miracles and the blessings. God does. You do your part. You follow your passions and get into your creative juices here to create the life that you want. But it's also about your inner light here. You take action on the things that God asks you to take action on. And you just let God do the rest. That's where your life changes. That's where the blessings and miracles come in. So there's something about really just letting the past go and putting an end to those parts of yourself that you know are not really benefiting you. Face the fears, face the demons. Do the shadow work. This is about shadow work, guys. And what's happening is that some of you are going to be transitioning from the distorted Queen of Wands to the Divine Queen of Wands. Where that energy, that charisma about you, the light that you shine, it's like a moth to a flame. Or those bugs that get caught in those bug zappers, right? Those lights, they, they, they're just, they get zapped into it. But that's because of the light. That bright light is not forcing anything other than being brilliant. This is what God is asking some of you to do. Okay? To shine your light for the world to see. To really follow your creative passions here. And, and just go with the flow. And, and watch how things magically happen in your life when you get into those energies. This confidence in, in, about you is, is going to flow out of you and people are going to be uh, enamored by it. She's an excellent counselor, an excellent leader. Because of her vibration, because of how she is as a person, not because of her good looks, not because... She's like, you know, this dictatorship here, or she's like, I need you to do this, 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 and that, and people are like, bow down to her. No. She's not going to be a beloved queen if she does that. If she has no compassion, if she doesn't allow other people to kind of bring their own ideas or their own creativity or something like that. She's loved by her kingdom. Because she really cares and she's got this ability to bring others to the light. To bring others to greatness. Because she's inspiring. She's motivational. She's encouraging. She speaks eloquently and with power. She might have Pluto in Libra or something or in the third house. And of course, it could be male or female, his energies. But some of you are being asked to be that higher vibrational queen of wands. The others of you, because you're shining your light so brightly, you could be a very uh, a, a businesswoman, an entrepreneur, okay? There's some major changes happening with your business or, or whatever role you're having as a leader. Some of you are putting, being put more into the spotlight. That's what the Queen of Wands is. Some of you are kind of already out there, but it looks like there's a huge change happening with this death card. You're moving from one phase of your life to the other. 
it's like a leveling up for some of you. Some of you who are already in this mission and you're being this strong, powerful leader, this person who's very inspirational here, that beacon of light, faith, and hope, it's like you're moving to the next level. You're going to be more well-known for what you do. If you're a business person, um, this could be a business taking off. Profound changes are happening in your business and you're going to be exalted is what I'm hearing. Okay? That's for some of you, not for all of you. Things are really going to be shifting. Oh my God. What did I say about huge transitions? Okay, for some of you who are already shining your light here, there is a windfall of money for some of you. This is, you're, you're transitioning to a completely different new beginning here. A fresh start. You're starting over, but it's like also with your business, your business is really bringing in more money. You're going to get more clients, more sales, whatever this is. God is giving you a big blessing. And this is also the highest manifestation card. Your light is so bright. Your vibration is so high, Aries, that you see this is a power to manifest anything that you want because you have the Ace of Wands in your hand. But God is now, now everything that you've been putting all this energy into to manifest, it is coming into the physical. You may be manifesting a home, a mansion, a castle, uh, a relationship, some uh, a strong commitment, stable, solid commitment with someone, uh, financial stability and security. You're, whatever it is that you're manifesting, God is blessing you with. And he's bringing this into fruition, into the physical. It is grounding right now. Your manifesta manifestations are grounding because of your high energies. Okay. This is beautiful. Yep. It's, it's a big change that's happening here. And look what comes after that. The Ace of Cups. Some of you are manifesting money. Financial security and stability, and you're manifesting love. New beginnings in both. This is like new starts to a lot of things in your life. The love of a lifetime, the home, the new career, the new job, whatever this is. Money, love, all of this stuff. An overflow of abundance, Aries, is what you've been manifesting because you've been vibrating at the agape level, the violet flame. You love what you do. Your vibration's so high that because you're vibrating at that highest level, you're overflowing with that divine love of God and you're casting that out. That's why you're being such an inspiration because you have this compassion, you have this love, you, you love your people in a sense, okay? And because of this, because you're overflowing with this love, this light, this bliss, it's attracting the miracles, the big blessings the gifts from god okay you've manifested some serious blessings and miracles here aries and hit the king of pentacles okay maybe you're manifesting a king of pentacles someone who wants to provide and protect you someone who may want to invest in your business someone who wants to take very good care of you your kids if you have kids um this could be somebody helping you with your finances too. Maybe this King of Pentacles is bringing in the windfall of money. Maybe they're going to pay off your debt, buy you the house, buy you the car, buy you everything. And they're also coming in with, this is your, your true love here. Okay? Could be an earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. They may have strong earth in their chart or some positive aspects with Taurus or something like that. But, um... You could very well be manifesting this person who's going to bring all this to you. Okay? Someone who's very dependable, very, very devoted, a devoted husband, a devoted father, very trustworthy, very um, harmonious in his environment. This person loves to be out in nature. They're a very successful business person. This person has amassed a great amount of wealth for them. For whatever reason I'm getting, this person may very well be a millionaire. Or they've invested in all of these these businesses and it, it, they have uh, a lot of, um, uh, they made wise investments is what I'm hearing because this is a wise person too. They did a lot of healing as well. And if this isn't a person, this is you. 
you're coming into some financial gain here, like some serious financial gain. If you have a business, it's leveling up here or somebody wants to invest in it. Um, you are, you've mastered healing of the self and you're now this master manifester because you've been grounded because you've really learned that it's about the inner wealth, not the outer wealth that is important. When you focus on the inside, your vibration, and you are grounding yourself, you're not ruled by materialism, you're not trying to control things, you're not jealous about other people's fortunes, you're not overdoing it with the hard work, you're always focusing on self, your well-being, you know your self-worth, you know you're deserving of beautiful things, and you're patient, and you're stable, you're not running amok. You're not controlling things. You're allowing the blessings to come to you. And because of that, you're manifesting at an incredible rate. Everything you touch turns to gold. You're really manifesting some incredible wealth and blessings and love to you because of your vibration. The others of you it's time to change that around with stopping the need to control things and only having it done your way. You got to really reevaluate what it is that you're doing. If you're having a hard time manifesting things, or again, you're manifesting negative things, it's because the, the tyrannical nature, all right, the fieriness about you, like, no, it, it's got to be all about me. I have to do it this way because this is the only way. There's jealousy surrounding you or you're getting jealous of other people, okay? Uh, you, you might be still ruled by materialism. This is greed. This is greed. Somebody here is just ruled about money. You may, have be, you may be in a relationship with someone who's controlling you with money. Okay, this is for somebody specific. You might be a very attractive person, okay? You might even look like that person. It's like somebody has control over your finances. Okay? Somebody's very greedy. Maybe somebody goes out there and purchases things for themselves, but doesn't purchase things for their so-called queen. Okay? Um, someone who, who gets very jealous of you. They don't allow you to do certain things. This is, good. This is turning in a different direction. There's something with a Scorpio energy here. There's a Scorpio with blonde hair. Okay, I'm getting. That's not for everybody. It's only for some of you. You may be the Scorpio and you're cross-watching for an Aries. That's somebody specific. So it looks like somebody is being um, controlled here by somebody. With money. And they get jealous of you too. They don't let you do certain things. They don't let you have a say. Okay? That person could be, you may be dealing with somebody who's my way or the highway. Doesn't allow you to have an opinion. Doesn't allow you to, 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 to come up with ideas or to do things differently. Okay? You may be thinking that this is true love, but it's not. Because somebody who controls you that way, they're a distorted masculine. They're distorted here. That's very low vibrational, all right? Somebody here needs to focus on self-love. If you're being controlled by someone, you may have gotten into this relationship with this person because you didn't love yourself first. You may have been going after people for money, and that may be hard for somebody to hear, but this is what my guides are telling me was what's going on for somebody here. You may have felt so low self-worth here and did not love yourself. Your cup was empty when you came into partnership or you married this person or you um, got into a relationship with this person. And because your cup was empty, there was nothing for you to pour out. And it's like you became codependent and self-reliant on this individual for money maybe Maybe there was something here that like you 
didn't think you're going to have money or you were broke or something like that. And maybe this person acted in a certain way and you thought that this was like true love or something like that. The love of a lifetime, your soulmate, your counterpart. But they ended up not being that. Again, this is for somebody who needs to hear this. If this person is very ruthless and controlling and they're jealous of you and they, they, they manage your money, they don't allow you to go into bank accounts, they don't allow you to spend the money on your own or something like that, this is not a blessing. This is not true love right here because a divine masculine would not do that whatsoever. You might have gotten greedy. Maybe, like, oh, I'm marrying this person because they make a lot of money. And you thought you were going to be set. But this person was ruled by materialism. And you may not have seen that. And now this person's controlling you. And you're afraid to put an end to this relationship because of the money. And maybe you're trying to control things now because this person's trying to control you. There's like a control issue between the two of you. Again, this is for some of you, not for all of you. All right. You got to really reevaluate re what you're doing here. This is like a word of caution. You're thinking this is a gift from God or this is a blessing with this person or whatever this is, but it's not. Because if this is the shadow side of the king of pentacles that you're dealing with, this is not a divine masculine here. It's a distorted masculine. True love does not involve anything with control whatsoever. You don't control things. You don't try to control everything and the other person doesn't control everything and you don't try to control each other. A controlling relationship is not a divine relationship, period. Okay? So for the other group of you, there's somebody here where there's like, there's manipulation here. There's, there's, there's a lot of control and a connection with somebody. And you really need to think twice about this. God's giving you a second opportunity to go find true love. That's why he wants you to put an end to this. And it's putting an end to just trying to force things to happen, trying to control. It's stop, stop having somebody dim your light, okay? God's giving you another chance here. When you when you put an end to this, or when you when you start focusing on putting an end to the control and trying to do things your way, and and really doing the the light work, the shadow work to transmute into the light. That's when you get the blessings. That's when things change. And God's giving you another chance to do this. It's giving you another chance to find that ultimate fulfillment. And that fulfillment comes from you, not from somebody else. Ah, lovers at the top of the deck. Yep, some of you... There are trust issues in the relationship or somebody can't trust you with money or doesn't trust you, period. Because I said, maybe you're a very attractive person. I don't know what it is with the blonde hair. Maybe you're an attractive person and this person controls your money, controls everything about you. There's trust issues here. It's probably because they're stemming from they had trust issues in their childhood or with another relationship. And I've seen that happen with very attractive people who try to control. They don't, they're like, this is my woman or this is my man and I don't want anybody else to have him. And when you're attractive, you get a lot of attention. You're getting a lot of attention already. There's somebody here who has trust issues. You're trust issues in a relationship, guys. It is not a divine union. It is not a connection ordained by God, period. If that person can't let go of those trust issues or you can't, you got to break away from that. You got to start making healthier choices when it comes to your relationships of all forms and for your, your healthier th uh, things in alignment with your highest good with regards to the choices in life. Who you associate yourself with, what you eat, what you drink, that type of thing, like I said before. Some of you are in relationships or marriages that you are misaligned. You're not at the same frequency. 
Some of you don't have the same core values and, and um, ideals. Some of you are in completely different pages. You are inspired by different things. You advocate for different things. You don't see things on the same, same level. That's not going to be a harmonious union here. It's not going to be a deep soul connection. There's no harmony in that type of connection. Okay. So some of you are in these connections that are not, it's not ordained by God. It is not. I have to break it to somebody here. It's not. Somebody here thinks it is, but it's not. When you have all this stuff, this negative stuff in a relationship, how, where, where is the, how is that divine? There's too many low vibrational energies surrounding the both of you in this relationship. It's not divine. Some of you might think this is your twin flame or a soulmate. Oh my gosh. But if you, or a light counterpart is what I call it, twin flame thing. If some of you are thinking this person is, yet you guys don't see eye to eye. And there's trust issues and there's control issues. A true counterpart will never do that again. Okay? Stop playing the fool. You're thinking, oh no, this is okay. Nope. If you're still in this, you got to break away from it. And if this is your actual counterpart, you know, then they've got some work to do. You got to focus on your emotional healing. You got to get to union with self first before you can attract your counterpart, before you get to union with your counterpart. So some of you are being a little bit foolish and you're holding yourselves back because you're thinking this is like some deep soul connection when it, it really isn't. Or you're, you're focusing too much on this connection when it's not healthy. It's not harmonious. And you got to pull your weight from that. You got to go off on your own. You got to take that leap of faith and go follow what God's telling you to do. Follow the light, not the dark. Death card's trying to get you to see something, say something that you're very fearful of doing. You're, you're afraid of leaving this person. You're afraid of starting anew. You're afraid of living life on your own. This is the, the fearless journeyman right here. It's time to take that leap of faith, guys, for whoever needs to hear this. And for the others of you, what, what's happening, life is changing drastically for you because of your vibration of what you've been uh, able to manifest. You are manifesting a sacred union with somebody because you've, you've learned how to be independent and to shine your light on your own. You don't need anybody. Not that you don't want anyone to be with you, but... You're like, I'm happy by myself. I'm shining my light on my own. I don't need anyone to, to tell me how beautiful I am or how amazing I am or, or intelligent, charismatic, how badass. This is an amazing, powerful person. She knows her power. But she does have a king of wands. So she's manifesting a king of wands here. She's manifesting sacred union with somebody. And for some of you, this union is happening in the month of June or Gemini season. Because this is Gemini. That's not for everybody. It's like a few people here where this is happening for. Okay? I'd be getting that very strongly. June is going to be an exceptional month for some of you. For like three people who are watching this. Others of you, you will get here when you do your light work. When you end up being this queen of wands. Okay? So there is a sacred union here, which could very well lead to marriage for some of you. And you're going to be starting life anew together on a completely different journey. You're now going to be coming together to fulfill your joint mission. Some of you are incredibly favored by a legion of angels. You, you have a lot of legion of angels uh, surrounding this connection. Like super, like, I mean, it's serious. Okay. And you're going to be getting something completely new. Look at all the major arcana at the bottom, at the top of the deck. Okay, this is a very powerful card. Okay, what are the obstacles for this connection or this, this situation? <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, played in Syrians. What are the... Oh, I think that was eight of swords that kind of flipped out, but flipped back in. What is the obstacle with this situation? 
spirit guides, angels, galactic family, Pleiadian Syrians. Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. I just heard from spirit, from whoever is in a very controlling relationship, and you're afraid to go out on your own to be independent, do not be afraid of that. And somebody here is worried about the money. God is your only source and supply, period. If you are in this really low vibrational, toxic uh, relationship, God doesn't want you to be in there. And if you've been trying for things to change and nothing's changing and this person says they can't change or nothing's, you know, getting better and you've prayed about it maybe, then that's God telling you there's justice. Look, somebody's thinking about divorce. Um, there is, uh, God has says there's some, you have a kingdom ordained spouse elsewhere. This is not it. Everybody has somebody that God has created for. And if you went after the someone, the person, you chased this person, this person's not for you. God brings the person to you miraculously out of nowhere. That is your kingdom spouse. All right. Your, your counterpart. All right. Let's see what the obstacle is. Somebody needed to hear that. Somebody's worried about the money and being on their own. Wow, we have the world card and the page of cups. Okay, so for somebody here with the 10 of, look, we have a lot of 10s here. We have a 10 at the bottom of the deck. It's the, excuse me, I was yawning, guys. It's a 10 of wands. You got to stop repeating the same karmic pattern, guys. There's a lot of stress. And what it is that you're dealing with. There's a lot of burdens here. You're doing too much. Maybe you're in a relationship where you're doing everything. Maybe that's part of your control. It's like, nope, I'll do it. Nope, I'll do it. No, I'll do it. But then the other person is trying to control you. Let me help you. No, I'll do it. And you're stressed out. You're overburdened. You're overwhelmed. Like, oh my God, I have so much to do. But are you delegating? Are you allowing people to help you? Or like, no, I'll do it because it has to be done this way. There's something about somebody having Scorpio moon, what they told me. I don't know where this is coming from. Is that why you're stressed out, Aries? Is that why you have too much on your plate and you're lacking energy? You get sick a lot, maybe? Because you're trying to do everything? Why? 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 Is your health really, you're really, um, what's it called? You are sacrificing your health and your happiness because you want things done your way and you, you're doing everything? That makes no sense to me. God didn't want us to live life like that. The shadow side of this is lo it's low vibrational energy, guys. When you don't have energy and your light is dim, you cannot manifest. When you've got so much on your plate, you have all these responsibilities. Maybe you're at a job where you're doing too much work. No, I'll take care of it. I'll take care of it. No, I'll take your shift. No, I'll work an extra 20 hours this week. Why? Is it because of greed? Is it because of money? Is it because of status? God doesn't give a shit about any of that. He cares about your well-being and your vibration, your light. I need your light to be illuminated here, Aries. I don't care about all of the work that you're putting in, everything that you're doing for everybody else. I don't care about the hours you're putting into a job. I don't care about the money that you're making. I care about your mission work and where your light is because some of you, your light is way too dim because of this. It's too much. You're doing too much. You got to drop some of those wands. You got to take some things off your plate, Aries. Because when you're doing too much and your energies are depleting, you cannot manifest your heart's desires. You cannot bring in abundance. The world card. See, the cycle's got to end. This cycle has to end, Aries, because it's not 
really serving you and you know it. You know it. It's time to turn things around. There are delays in your life, probably because you're trying to control things. You're stalling. You're very disappointed with the world. You're disappointed with your situation. Change your vibration. Do things differently. Start listening to your intuition. Do things of a creative nature. This is creativity. The Queen of Wands is passionate about her creative gifts. She uses her creative gifts for the greater good of humanity. Okay? But some of you are stalling. You know you need to do, you know you need to go after what it is that you want, but it, it it's the stuff that you're passionate about, not the stuff about what you think you want. Some of you are taking shortcuts. Nope, I, I wanna I wanna rush my healing. No, I need to do it this way because I think this is gonna wait be the way for me, but it keeps backfiring for some of you. You're doing too much of that. It, you gotta put that down. You gotta end that. Okay. Some of you can't finish things. It's lack of completion. Because you're doing too much. You're not able to finish projects. You're not able to, to finish chores. You're not able to finish, I don't know, whatever it is. Because you put too much on your plate, Aries. So start taking things off. And for one, I'm feeling very strongly somebody here needs to really prioritize their health. If you don't take care of yourself, guess what? You're do actually slapping God in the face. You are. Because God gave you that vessel for your soul to reside in, he created you. If you don't take care of you, you are actually slapping God in the face because you are, what's the word? Um, you are disgracing God because you're not taking care of what God blessed you with from a physical standpoint and an energetic standpoint. Think about that one. God wants you to take care of yourself. Stop trying to beat around the bush. Stop getting into all of these things because you think it needs to be done a certain way. You got to break that cycle. Because some of you, your health is failing. And that's not a good thing. God wants you to be at your best. And when your health is low, your light is low. You were here to illuminate other people. You are here to heal other people, whether you know it or not. When your vibration is low and your energies are low, Aries, it affects the collective. It does. We're all connected. You may be having, you may be in a relationship where your vibe is low, so is your person's, and both of you are low. How do you think that's going to be a blissful, harmonious connection when your vibrations are low? And then everyone else around you gets affected. So start doing things that are for your highest good. You're disappointed because nothing's changing. You want something new. You want something different. You want to move to the next phase of your life. You want something more exciting, something more playful, more joyful with this page of cups energy, this childlike energy. But it's because you're just, you're taking shortcuts and or you have too much going on. Too much going on. You got to let that go. You don't feel fulfilled at all. You don't feel successful. There's no sense of achievement, sense of belonging, sense of accomplishment. It's because you're doing too much. You're working too hard and or you're taking on too many responsibilities. You really got to get more into a playful nature. You're not allowing yourself to play, to have fun, to tap into your inner child. There's somebody here who's doing too much adulting. I have to do all of this because I have to do it this way. No, that's not how God wanted us to live, period.
It's not. So somebody needs to change that. Okay. And again, I can't tell you what to do, guys, but if you're here and your life is not changing and you don't feel fulfilled, then again, the death card, something's got to give, Aries. You can't expect your world to change around you if you don't be the change you wish to see. That's just it. Some of you have creative blocks. You got to tap into your creative side. Someone here might have a grand water trine. I don't know where the hell that came from. Check your chart. Because if you do, this is a huge message for you. Okay, if you've got Aries in your chart and you've got a Scorpio moon and you've got a grand water trine, this is a huge message for you. If you don't know what your stuff is, go look up your chart. Okay? Somebody's obsessed with something. Somebody's obsessed with accolades and rewards and, and, and achievement and feeling accomplished. It's like you feel fulfilled when people say, oh, what a great job you've done. Or look at what you've done this, 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 and this. But why? A true queen of wands does not need validation. She's successful on her own because she knows what an amazing person she is and what she's capable of. She doesn't need reward. She doesn't need certification. She doesn't need a title. She doesn't need people to tell her, oh, look how amazing the Queen of Wands is. No, she doesn't. She knows that because she knows her power within. Some of you are very obsessed about success. I need to be this. I need to be on the, have everybody look at me because I'm the best in the world. No, you don't. You're already the best in the world without the achievements, without the accomplishments. God, again, doesn't care about your certificates. He doesn't care about your money, your title, your status. He wants to see if you're inspiring people's lives. He wants to see if you're being a beacon of light, faith, and hope to others, regardless of your status regardless of the many degrees that you have, regardless of the certificates that you have, he does not care. Because when you get to heaven, God's going to ask you, hey, Aries, what did you do for the collective while you were on earth? Oh, well, I have three doctorates, two masters, and, and, and two bachelor's degrees. And I graduated from Harvard in these degrees and MIT from these degrees. I'm making $200,000 a year. I have all these titles. Well, why are you here, Aries? It looks like you had a very poor track record with your health. You didn't take care of the body I gave you. Why do you want me to go give you access to heaven? I don't care about everything that you've accomplished with your degrees and your money. I want to know what you did for the greater good of humanity. I want to see your light really wasn't that bright by the time you got up here, Aries. So why should I grant you access to heaven? Because heaven is for the people who are elevated, whose light are at the agape level, the violet flame level. God could very well ask you that. And that's probably the case because that's God speaking through me right now. I'm seeing this whole whole conversation between you and God right at the pearly gates. All these bright lights behind those gates. And you're waiting to get gain access. It's like, oh, look what I did. But your health wasn't there. Your light, your vibration wasn't there. You were trying to control everything. God's like, you know what, Aries? I'm sorry. All those degrees mean nothing to me. All those accomplishments, not, accomplishments mean nothing to me. If it's like a physical thing. He wants to see what you accomplish with regards to your mission work. With you being a leader for others. The inspiration for others. The ability to change people's lives is what he wants to know if you've done. And God says, did you play around? Did you have a little fun in your life? Or did you adult all the time? 
I see you've been stressed out, Aries. A lot. Your health was tanking. You were trying to take shortcuts. You were disappointed all the time. You didn't have any fun, so so. you didn't really finish things. You didn't finish the things that I asked you to finish, Aries. What happened to your childhood? What happened to your, your uh, playfulness? Apparently, some of you, you're stalling on actually healing your inner child. You still have childhood wounds to clear. You still haven't followed your dreams, okay? You have to believe in your dreams, first of all, and you have to take action and do something about it to follow your dreams and manifest them. Some of you may have had childhood dreams that were broken and you were like, oh, whatever, screw that. I'm just going to go this other route and do the adulting thing and the nine to five thing. But apparently that wasn't working either. Some of you may have been manipulated as a child. Maybe some of you wanted to be a particular something like a pilot or an astronaut or a doctor or a lawyer and, 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 or somebody with green peace or you wanted to go save the world or something, be a superhero perhaps, and your, your mother, father, or one of the, both of them were like, whatever, you're going to be a this and you're going to be a that. They may have told you, you may be lacking confidence because somebody here, a parent or somebody told you that you can amount to anything. Or maybe people around you said you couldn't amount to anything. You may have had a very controlling mother who said you wouldn't amount to anything as a child. No, you need to do this because this is going to make the family look better. You got to make the family look good. That's what I'm hearing. And you really wanted to be something else. And your heart was crushed because you didn't get to be who you really wanted to be. And now because of that, there's a little bit of a bitterness with the world or with things going on. So you became overly obsessive with being driven to succeed, but you needed proof about your with your accomplishments. I need to be the best at everything. I need to have this home, this car, this status. I want people to see what I can do. But does that have anything to do with the collective? Does it have anything to do with changing people's lives and inspiring others to be successful, to be great? Think about that. I'm channeling somebody very hard here. I don't know who it is. At least I'm, I think I might know who it is, though. Okay. Somebody feels like, I feel like somebody's very taken aback by what I just said because I might have just dictated your whole life. The others of you, you're no longer going to be doing things on your own. because Somebody's coming in. Somebody's going to offer their cup to you. There is a message of love coming in. Um, you may get a poem, a song written about you, uh, a letter. There's some form of communication, but it's a very deep, loving type of communication here. Somebody's ready to open their heart to you. Somebody's ready to start a, a love life with you, a start new beginning with you in love. Okay? They want to end this cycle of not being with you, of holding in their emotions, of not opening up how they feel. They want to move to the next phase with you. They, they, they want the world with you. It's like they want to give you the world, Aries. There is completion here. This per person's no longer going to be stressed out or overburdened about telling you how they feel and what they want with you. It could even be a proposal of marriage, perhaps. They want to invite you on a date or something like that. There's something artistic about this person. It might be a Pisces or some water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. But this person is no longer going to be burdened by the feelings they have for you. They want this to come to an end because they want to see the world with you. Maybe they want you to travel with them, travel the world with them. That could be part of what they're going to tell you. They want to see the world with you. They want to give you the world. And they want to start something new. 
a completely new journey. We did see the full card before. And for others of you, this message that's coming in, it's the end of you being single. Of being on your own, of being independent. But when you come into union with this person or you start a relationship with this person, you're going to still maintain your independence. Remember that. Don't go back to your distorted self. When you still come into that uh, connection with that person, your, your, your person that God created for you, maintain your independence, okay? Don't become codependent like you were a long time ago. But you have successfully completed what God has asked you to do with being this Queen of Wands. You're not afraid to shine your light. You're not too afraid to express your truth. You have so much confidence in yourself. You have a tremendous amount of power and you found that through God. Because you found the light of God, the Ace of Wands. You are the queen of light. You are the queen of light. Your vibration is so high now that you're going to be recognized by the world. Maybe there's world success here. Okay. Or this is the phase ending for you and now something even greater is beginning and it's coming from somebody who's going to offer you love they're going to express it and this is the beginning of a new love for some of you this is the beginning of a new romance with your counterpart okay but this is the true love stuff that's coming in this cup and it's going to be unexpected okay it could very well be a pisces because there's a fish in this cup or they have pisces in their chart but this person's like, I'm going to stop these karmic patterns of not expressing and, and having this be stressful for me. Because this person had a hard time. They spent a long time trying to come up with this letter, with this message, okay? But they're coming in with that. And you're going to be surprised by what they tell you how they feel. I see somebody's jaw dropping. <laughs> because this person is going to tell you in a very, very creative way very creative way well if you're dealing with the pisces there's pisces right there seeing hangman patience is a virtue for some of you it's completion no more delays no more hang-ups no more things being suspended no more like okay i'm waiting but you know what i'm patiently waiting i don't care i'm still doing my mission work i'm not focusing on the outcome i'm going with the flow i'm making sure that i'm recalibrated i'm making sure that i'm enlightened that my light is shining brightly as I am patiently waiting, but we don't wait for anybody, right? But this is you just being patient. Others of you need to learn how to be patient, okay? Stop resisting the change that you need to make. Stop resisting God. You got to surrender, let go, let God handle this, okay? Nine of Pentacles, self-worth, self-care. This is overworking yourself for money, okay? Or doing things for free. I did say some of you are not going to be single anymore. It's the end of being single. Like no more, no more delays, no more being single. And then two of pentacles, stop going back and forth. There's a change coming. Some of you really need to uh, manage your money better and adapt to changes. Oh my God, wheel of fortune. I was talking about that, I think, right? Stop trying to control. You cannot... Control, karma. Karma controls you. <laughs> All right. There is some great fortune for somebody. Somebody's finances are changing. Make sure that you manage your money wisely when you come into this fortune. Okay. All right. Let's see what the lesson here is. What is the lesson? Oh. Holy crap. It's the Empress. This is such a beautiful card. I absolutely love this deck. I really, really do. I can't remember what it is, guys. Somebody's asking me what it is. Uh, it's in freaking Japanese, but the box doesn't even say it, guys. Uh, hold on. Wait. Okay. If you're curious, what is it? 
the Alchemia Tarot deck. I think that's an I. You guys are smart. I'm sure you can figure it out. Somebody asked. Okay. All right. I love this. I love this. And I'm a big anime person too. So this is a little bit anime-ish. All right. Number three, creation, creativity, expression of that. This is embodying the divine feminine, a true divine feminine. What was I talking about? Distorted feminine here. She is a feminine, right? Distorted feminine's control. They want it their way to the highway. Nope, I have to do it this way. No, no, no. Lesson. Know your worth. Focus on self-care. You are a goddess and you've always been one. You just have to act like it, speak like it, talk like it, think like it, embody it, reintegrate it into your life. We are all divine feminine within, and it doesn't mean that this is energy, guys. This is not gender-based. We all have this goddess-like energy within us, but if we are not acting like one as a divine person, then we are not a true divine feminine. I have to say it. That's just the truth of the matter here. That's the cold, hard truth. We go around thinking, yeah, I'm divine feminine, but if you're codependent, if you're greedy, if you're jealous, if you try to control, if you get angry and you get, you know, it, you, you control every little thing, you get mad a lot. I'm not saying that you can't get mad. We're humans. But if you're just always disappointed and always angry, that's a distorted person. You're not patient. You don't have compassion. You can't forgive. You're not a true divine feminine. All those qualities I talked about, compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, acceptance, patience, unconditional love, that is the qualities, those are the qualities of a true divine feminine Christ. You got to stop feeling insecure about yourself. You really have to own up to your power. You're divine within. You've always been divine within. You just got to believe that about yourself and you have to embody it. Act like this in your everyday life. I don't need anybody to tell me I'm beautiful, I'm handsome, to tell me I'm amazing, to tell me that I'm worth more than gold. You don't need anybody to tell you anything. You don't even need to tell anybody how much they love you. Because you will feel it. Because you are like this highest vibration here. This is agape level right here. Again. You do not need anyone to tell you anything. How successful you are. She feels fulfilled on her own. And she understands that when she's looking at that light, look at that light behind her. See, I was talking about the queen of light. She's vibrating at this energy and she's attracting all these beautiful things into the world. And you know what else she also does? She sees the beauty and divinity in every single person that she meets, even people that she doesn't know. She has a lot of compassion for these people. Because she's embodying those energies. It's Christ-like energies. That's what a true divine feminine is. She's very generous. She's warm-hearted. She gives to others. And when she's blessed with abundance, she gives back. She utilizes the creative talents that God gave her for the greater good of humanity. Because she knows that that's her purpose. That's part of her purpose. God said, I bless you with these gifts, Empress. I want you to use them. And she uses them. She helps other people. She's an inspiration to others. She's like this mother to, uh, to her children, like uh, people who come to her for guidance, for help. And she sees things through the eyes of a child too because she's bearing a child. And she's giving this love out to everybody. 
because she knows that's part of her role as a divine feminine. She's here to unconditionally love others and to get them to believe in themselves. To get them to believe in their greatness, their, their abilities, that they are loved by God, by other people. That they do not need man to validate them. That they are able to give life. Even if you're a male and you can't physically give life, you can still birth things that God gave you into the world. And it's based off of your creative talents that God gave you. You really need to tap more into your creative side of yourself to balance out your masculine and feminine energies. Because some of you, your masculine energies are off the charts. God sees a sense of accomplishment, achievement, and success when you utilize the creative gifts that he gave you. That is where your success comes from. It's based off of the gifts from God, not from man. God, man doesn't give you gifts. God does. Man has nothing to do with your creative abilities. God does. This is where the success comes from. And when you create, you also co-create with the universe and you birth beautiful things onto the planet for other people. And that gets them to be inspired. It gets them to see that they are capable of wonderful things. This is what she does. It's a big lesson for a lot of you. Create, create and create. Controlling doesn't do anything. Success, accolades, your title, everything I just said that's low vibrational does not make you a goddess, does not make you an empress, does not put you on a pedestal. What God created in you is what elevates your vibration and that's what God wants to see by the time you get up to his gates. Another three with the three of wands, creation, expanding your horizons. You have to understand that you have the ability, you have the ability to manifest your dreams, but that's when you are operating as the empress, no control, no lack of patience. Creating creative projects, whatever talents you were given is what gets you to manifest your dreams. She, again, the high vibration that she's at, she's able to manifest anything. But she knows that it's a long journey. She knows that has, she has to continue moving forward, making progress as she's doing what God asked her to do and she's co-creating with God, with everybody else of the higher realms. She has to persevere. She cannot rest on her laurels because she knows with what she's trying to manifest will take some time. Again, the patience. This is patience, guys. I said for some of you, some of you need to have patience. We saw the hangman too. She knows her heart's desires will manifest in divine timing because she knows she also needs to be fully prepared for what's to come because if she's not she could lose everything she's trying to manifest and that's what God doesn't want patience is a big thing for some of you a big lesson for you to learn God rewards those who have patience because he knows it's not easy but if you're trying to control don't expect God to give you the manifestation of your heart's desires because God wants everything to be in perfect orchestration before they actually manifest into the physical. But you have to keep going. You cannot rush this. You cannot force it. God has a better plan for you. This is about long-term plans. The bigger the manifestation, the longer it takes to come to fruition.
before it appears in the physical. She knows this. Why do you think she's so abundant? Why do you think she's the empress? She wanted to rule an empire. She wanted to be in this high vibrational state and overcome all of these issues to embody all of the energies of all the queens. She went through a lot. And it took her a long time to get here. But she continued to create and helped her to maintain a high vibration. And when she got to this level here, she was like, okay, God, I'm here. I'm vibrating at the Violet Femme level. I'm going to patiently wait for the manifestation of my heart's desires. And because she patiently waited, she got everything she asked for and way more than that. That's why she's incredibly abundant. And whatever God gave her, she gave to the world. She continued to do that with her mission work. Whatever talents God gave her, she continued to create. She continued to work with you, her guides, her angels, her ancestors. She continued to give back to humanity what she was blessed with and continue to be inspiration on top of that for others, to being about that mother to others, to teach them, to nurture them, to help them to see the divinity within themselves, the power within themselves, because she did that for herself. And now she's teaching others to do the same. But she's getting all of these blessings here because she's been patient and she continued to be obedient to God and what she's been asked to do. Some of you need to stop thinking so small. You need to think bigger. You really have to believe in those dreams, guys. Again, there's somebody here whose dreams got squashed as a child. F that S, okay? Forget about that. You have way more power than you think you do to create something big. Start working on that project that you stopped working on, that you didn't believe could come through fruition. Get back on that. Whatever childhood dream you had, go back into doing that or doing something similar to whatever childhood dream you had. It's never too late. Some of you might be much older, 50s, 60s, 70s watching this. It's never too late. Go after your dreams. Dream big, guys, because, and you have to believe in them. When you do that, God is going to create some crazy miracles in your life when you just continue to believe in what it is that you want for yourself. This is stagnation also. Stalling. You're regressing. You got to keep moving forward. And if you're doing your healing work and you're trying to manifest things, you just got to keep going. Don't go backwards. Say, man, this is not happening. I I'm trying to force this to happen. No, no. You're, you're adding to the timeline here when you force, guys. Keep doing your work. Keep up with the healing. Stay, keep leveling up to this empress if you're not there already. Because some of you are still working towards this. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. It's the lovers. Get out of those unhealthy relationships. Start making healthier choices for your highest good. Some of you are not manifesting your heart's desires because you are not aligned with them. You're not vibrating at the highest frequency to bring them into the physical. And some of you, this has to do with patience. You're not patient enough. You got to let God do his work while you're doing yours. Okay. This is, this is pretty big for some of you. And I know some of you are not liking that. But you know what, guys? The Empress is super patient. She gets everything that she could ever ask for because she knows that God is doing his work and he's trying to do all these incredible things to bring about what she's desiring. You are disconnected between yourself and your higher self, your, your 3D self and your higher self. You got to be more connected with your higher self. There's, there's an emotional imbalance here. Um, and again, if you are in a relationship that is not harmonious, it could very well be also blocking the manifestation of your heart's desires. 
You do not need anybody to make you feel like an empress. No one, not even a job. The others of you, because you are this incredible individual now with a lot of power, there's a lot of light. There's a lot of light coming from you guys. You are really vibrating super high for some of you. Now, for all of you, because some of you are not there yet, but that's okay. You can get there. You just have to be patient and you just still have to do some work. You can't stop where you are right now. Don't go back. You've come too far. The others of you are already here. Abundance is coming to you now tenfold. You are about to birth the child that you have been, uh, that has been in your womb for quite some time. It's now time to give birth here, Aries. For those of you who've done your work and you know who you are, you feel whole within yourself. You're doing your mission work and you've been patient, very patient. God's not only rewarding you with a lot of abundance and new beginnings, prosperity, you're very fertile, you're able to create all these things and they turn to gold or whatever, it, it, it's a magical thing. You're manifesting what you have been seeking, what you've been dreaming about. Your ships are coming in because you've been patient. Divine timing is here for some of you. You didn't give up. You continued to persevere. You continued moving through your journey. It was been a long time coming, Aries. There's a lot of abundance here. A lot of abundance that you're getting because you kept making forward progress. You kept on in your journey, even though it took a long time for you to get to that empress level. And now for some of you, this is what you are being gifted with. This is coming in on one of your ships. We saw this already. Divine, harmonious, sacred union with your counterpart. The love of a lifetime. And for some, as I said, it's happening in the month of June or Gemini season. It could be Gemini, Taurus. And that's not everybody, though. It's only for a few people. You are now in alignment with your higher self, with the violet flame level. You're vibrating at that, and so is your person. And now because you two are vibrating at the same frequency, the angels, God, the heavens, are now bringing you two together for this harmonious sacred union. Again, there might be marriage for some of you. There's a deep love here. You are now harmonious within yourselves because some of you have achieved this empress level. She is harmonious. Harmonious sacred union cannot happen if you are both not in harmony with yourselves and with each other. There's a new relationship that's unfolding here because you both chose the higher form of love above everything else. Lord Jesus. All right, let's get guidance. How long was that? My God. See, you see guys, there my guides are like, they're laughing at me again. Just, you can't, you can't do shorter readings. That's just not me. It's just, it's not my mission. It's not in my contract. <laughs> it's not in my contract to do short readings. And I'm fine with that now. Before when I started, I was a little bit like, man, really? Nobody's going to watch this, but you know what? If they can't have patience to watch this, they're missing out. They're missing out. And that's not my problem. It's not my problem if they cannot have patience and I just move on and I'm fine with it now. It's the greatest thing. I'm just here because, see, now my guides and my angels, they're all, God, they're all smiling at me. and They're giving me thumbs up because I, I've persevered and, and I've continued to do my light work in the way that they've asked me to, that they want me to do with me being in my empress energy and um, just being patient and just doing what they've asked me to do because they've asked me to get these messages out in a certain way. That's part of my work. And it's pretty awesome because of the connection that I have with my team here. It's, 
I couldn't ask for anything more. Oh my God, good fortune. Invite magic in. We did see the Wheel of Fortune card. I said a lot of abundance, did I not? Oh my God, wow. Bottom of the deck is dragon. Discover your courage. For those of you who've gotten to this, you're not going to believe what God is going to bring you now. I'm telling you, you've manifested things beyond your wildest dreams here, Aries. Congratulations. For some of you, others of you, you could totally have this as part of your good fortune if you just do the work, if you follow the other guidance that was given here. Welcome to the magic of life. All good things are coming your way. You deserve your heart's desire, so allow yourself to feel good now. When you send out positive energy and are ready to receive, providence gets into action. You don't need to understand how this happens. Just trust the universe is at work and will rearrange itself to make the right things happen for you. After you have asked for what you desire, give thanks and trust that it will occur. Your mantra is, I trust in the magic of life to fulfill my dreams. Exactly. Yep, good things are coming your way. And this is also the Empress learns how to receive. She gives and she receives. That's why she gives to the world and God gives to her. She gives to the world and God gives to her. She gives a lot and God gives her even more than what she gave. Law of equal give and take. And she knows that whatever she's vibrating at, she's going to attract. Um, the dragon. I know the dragon card's got a really good message here. This is a prize coming. The dragon represents courage, strength, and fortitude. The dragon is victorious in any situation and serves as a powerful guide and garden in all endeavors. Victory comes in emotional triumph and healing of old wounds of, or completion of a project. That's why I said you're birthing your child now, Aries. Uh, a surprise is looming for you that will create one of the most wonderful moments of your life. This is a message of glorious accomplishments that will set the standards for years to come. Congratulations. I said that. My desire is coming to fruition. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, Aries. Look what's underneath that potential. Think big for your future. What was I saying? Some of you are thinking too small. Stop doing that. Look what's after that. Creative wonderment. Follow your passion. I was saying that too. Oh, my goodness. Look, I said independence. Don't be afraid to fly solo. Self-reliance. Right there, the queen of wands. All right, I'm going to give you your little bonus card, my little belief cards. Yes, I got these because it matches my theme for the month of June. I'm very matchy-matchy. If you haven't realized that, that's the Leo part of me. <laughs> All right. What guidance do we have for Aries? What else would you like Aries to know? Please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guides, your support, and your clarity. What I love about doing this, and this might sound silly to you guys, but you can't, we cannot see what's on these cards, which makes me believe in the magic of the universe because the universe, God, my angels, my guides, they know what's in these cards. And I don't even. We can see what's in these cards, right? But the higher powers can see what's in these. And these aren't open. These are pop-open cards. All right, spirit. Why are we getting stuck? Hold on. There's one here that's open. They're like open, the one that's already open. Okay. What was I telling you guys? There are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. Albert Einstein. What did I say? Believing in your dreams, believing in miracles. If you don't believe, guys, then it's not going to happen. You have to believe in the magic of the universe. You have to believe in miracles if you want. They believe in miracles, okay? They want another one. That one got stuck. And look what's at the back. Keep the faith, right? 
The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you cannot do. Walter Bagot. See? People don't think you can do something. Again with the dreams. Again with the dreams. Somebody has some childhood dreams here that your parents or somebody said or other people said you couldn't amount to them. Or maybe it was a spouse, okay? Or ex-spouse or something. Get over it because you can do anything you set your heart to. Okay? Because God gave you some gift. Use it. You do your part. God works the miracles in the end. Okay? All right, Aries. That concludes your reading. I hope that it helped you. If you would like to join my group session on Friday, it's today, uh, June 10th, 9 p.m. It's a group discussion. It's a group healing session. I'm going to talk about some stuff that my guides have been telling me the past couple of days. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I channel. I don't do tarot oracle in these sessions. It's more of empowerment and inspiration. All those good things. We're going to have some fun. I make a lot of jokes. If you work with me independently, you know how I am. Especially when I do lives with you. So um, I'm going to have that 9 p.m. on Friday, June 10th. The link to book that seat is in the description box below. If you go to capellawellness.com, go underneath the group classes section and you'll find it there. Um, we're really going to be giving each other encouragement and I'm going to be doing my work, trying to give inspiration to those who, who join in. So um, I would love for you to be there if you can. If you would like a personal reading, go to capellawellness.com. Check out my service suite. If you want to sign up for a Capella membership, I have different tiers with different perks. The cheapest one is $5.55. You get unlimited access to my guided meditations and my daily guidance videos. And my daily guidance videos tend to be really insightful and very deep. So even though it's just a daily guidance thing, you know how I am. I am a very, I give very deep messages. So, um, five bucks guys it's like a gallon of gas you know this is for to help supplement these readings to give you more encouragement more guidance um other tiers have other perks like freebies like free readings and free bracelets or uh, discounts on readings services classes uh live members only live events things like that access to particular communities you have free access to my mobile app okay if you sign up for my website you'll get a link to my mobile app and you that's completely free i give other free messages there other guidance other heads up on things like when i'm going live on youtube or you guys get a little extra guidance from me um without me going onto youtube or other videos or anything like that all my exclusive content can be accessed through those memberships and again every other membership uh, depending on the tier you get different perks okay you even get readings on your relationship uh, energies with your person other things like that and other exclusive stuff that is exclusive to capella wellness that nobody else does so certain tiers have that so if you want to check that out there's a description box in the description box there's a link to take you to the memberships um Join the community, join the family. Again, getting access to my mobile app is completely free. You just have a password. You just got to download an app. That's it. It doesn't cost you anything. And um, yeah, if you have any questions about anything, my services, just reading anything at all, please don't hesitate to ask me. Okay. All right, guys. That's your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel if you haven't already, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. I wish you the best today and always. I send you so, so much love, and I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jasmine Capella Wellness, starring out.